Hello and welcome to ABG Investor Day. My name is Timon Jönsson. I'm a equity research analyst here at ABG, covering the tech sector. With me today, we have Babak Esfahani, CEO of Plaid. Babak will hold a presentation, then we'll have a, a short Q&A. Babak, the floor is yours. Thank you very much. Uh, so my name is uh, Babak Esfahani co-founder and uh, CEO of Plaid. So Plaid is a company uh, with working with smart lighting control. We are the leading provider of uh, smart lighting control for the professional segment here in, uh, here in Sweden. And with our wireless technology, we create value all the way from installation to the end user experience. So if we move on to the next slide. So our offering consists of pucks. Uh, these are normally installed behind the actual uh, switch or the outlet or next to the light fixture or in the electrical cabinet. cabinet. And our product range is complete, uh, meaning that we can handle almost any type of lighting uh, installation. And we work with all of the major uh, brands of switches and sockets and, uh, and light fixtures. So we can handle everything and we are compatible with almost everything on the market today. Yes, next slide. So we are today the preferred supplier uh, amongst electricians in, in Sweden. So our, our products are installed by electricians, by professional electricians. And today we are the preferred supplier for, for those kinds of products here in Sweden. So and the, the reason is that our technology provides electricians with benefits during the actual installation, uh, simplifies the installation, increases the customer satisfaction, and also increases the sales for the electrician. Next slide. Uh, all of this uh, is uh, held together with our uh, own wireless mesh technology. And uh, this enables us to handle all types of installations, all the way from retrofit, where you only need one or maybe a few products, to a completely new build, where you would need maybe 30 to 50 products. It also creates comfort for the electrician to have a normal electrical installation in the background, so no cables are needed or no modifications are needed to get all of the functionality. So it creates both comfort for the electrician and also comfort for the end user that does not have to invest in anything that uh, that affects their actual infrastructure in, in their homes. So this wireless technology is, is key for uh, for uh, creating a robust wireless network that, that uh, can hold all of our functions and features. Next slide. So this is the value chain. We sell our products through electrical wholesalers uh, and there are just a couple of few of them here in Sweden. The ones you see on the slides are, are covering 90% plus of the market. And they in turn sell to electricians, uh, which is our main customer indirectly and uh, or directly and the indirect and uh, customer is the end user. And then the electrician installs typically a, a residential uh, as well as commercial. So it can be homes and villas and uh, apartments as well as restaurants, offices, uh, shops, and so forth. So both residential and, and commercial applications. Yes, next slide. So this is an example just to illustrate the benefits that we have for the electrician. And this is the crucial part for, for, for our business model, uh, since the electrician is the one choosing our products for their own sake, independent of what the end user requests because it enables their work to be done in a much more efficient way and all of the end user functions and benefits are, are just icing on the cake so to say. So this is a typical installation in a kitchen, a, a kitchen renovation where you have just uh, renovated the kitchen and have an electrician there for the electrical work. So you have two light sources in this picture. You have the ceiling light source and you have the light source next to the cabinets um, in, the, in, in the actual kitchen. So typically you have two buttons controlling each light source in the kitchen entrance. And one cable is 
very easy to pull, and that's the cable to the ceiling light. However, to pull the cable to the cabinet lights are in many cases difficult because the kitchen has been remodeled. There were, there were no cabinets there before, so no cable has been pulled there. So you need to pull the cable through concrete very often, and then you need to have paint jobs to, to cover, cover the cable and so forth. So it's a very complex and costly cable to pull. And this leads the installation to become more, much more unflexible and expensive. Uh, and very difficult for the electrician to, 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 to carry out and also explain to the customer why, why the costs are so high. So if we go to the next slide, we can see how this is solved with our product. So the exact same dimmers that were needed before, so you, you needed two dimmers before, one for the ceiling, one for the cabinet. And instead of having the dimmers in the entrance, as you, as you usually have and pull the cables from the dimmers to the light sources, you can now move one of the dimmers from the entrance to the actual light, uh, to the actual cabinet, because uh, you have lights there, so you have power there, so it's very easy to place the dimmer there. And what you do then is you pick up your app, and just in a few seconds, you create a wireless cable from the cabinet to the entrance uh, button. So it, it is the exact same material as it was before, two dimmers, but you save the entire cable pulling uh, throughout the whole kitchen and you also save the paint job and so forth. And this is just one example of a kitchen renovation. You have the same problems in offices when you remodel the offices for new tenants. You have the same, they want to move walls, they want to create new conference rooms and so forth. And then you have the same lighting issues with pulling new cables to, to accommodate those uh, renovations. So this is a very common situation where the electrician can gain much more flexibility by using our products. Uh, and besides this, besides the benefits that the electrician have, uh, the technology also gives the end user many benefits that they did not uh, know that they could get. So after the installation is done, the electrician could say to the customer that I've also installed one of these smart dimmers or smart products, uh, and the user gets an app, which they get pleasantly surprised by. And then they also many times realize the potential of having these products in their home. So in many cases, they ask the electrician to, to build out the system to more rooms. So they can turn on, turn off everything from the hallway, uh, from their beds and voice control to Google Home and so forth. So it's also an automatic upsell for the electrician. So instead of working with traditional products as they were before, the electrician works with our smart lighting control products and gains a lot of benefits for themselves during the installation, as well as a happier customer that gets more features than, than, than they knew they were get, getting, as well as an automatic upsell uh, when the customer wants to expand the system. It can happen during the installation, or it can happen later on when the customer calls, calls, to, uh, calls the electrician back to actually expand the system. So this is a, a simple explanation, uh, a simple example to show the power of having uh, our uh, smart uh, lighting control is, instead of the traditional one. So if you move to the next slide, uh, I have uh, condensed everything into this slide where the electrician uses our products and it, it, they have one supplier for solving many things. So uh, to the left, you have the replacements. So our product replaces single purpose products that they were using before. We discussed the dimmer in the example above, but you have other products. For example, you have a product for wanting the light to turn on when the sun goes down uh, and turn off when the sun goes up, a so-called astronomical clock. Our products, since they are uh, smart and connected, they have that functionality already within them. They know where the sun is and they can turn on and off the lights automatically. So it also replaces all of those products, which are very difficult to configure and and many times more expensive than, than our product. So it, uh, it not only replaces dimmers, it also replaces many other products that are on the, on the shelf today. So the electrician can have one product and solve many single purpose uh, products that we're using before with easier configuration, uh, better price and so forth. Furthermore, it gives the same product, gives them the flexibility to solve complex cable pooling by, by doing that wirelessly instead. 
as we discussed above. They can they can move the dimmer and they can also place wireless buttons on the walls where there are no power at all to, to add even more flexibility. And, and furthermore, the products are also future proof because more and more requests are coming for smart systems. You have complex installations in offices, restaurants that want scenarios. You have homes that want voice control and, and smart lighting. And the electrician can use the exact same products again. They are comfortable with them. They know how they work and they go and they can do a complex installation with 30, 40 units and don't have to learn other complex systems that are cable bound, they need to be programmed and so forth. So this, so just by having us as a supplier of lighting control, they can handle all these cases that they could not handle before. So the next slide. Uh, so this shows that with our products, the electrician gets many benefits, uh, easy configuration, wireless cabling, can meet the future demands of smart lighting, happier customer, increased sales. And, and as well, the end user in form of residential, they can create scenarios and schedule lighting that they could not do before. They can control the lights now with the voice and the switch and the app. They can expand the system whenever they want. They can integrate with their future smart home. And the wireless cabling creates many benefits for them because they can move a light switch from one side of the room to the other side of the room super easy and also have more, much more choices during the actual renovations. And in the commercial side, they have the scenarios and scheduling lighting which increases efficiency uh, in, in, in their business. They can save a lot of costs due to uh, having wireless cabling in, uh, in renovations. They can expand when they need to. And they can also increase comfort and also efficiency with new types of human-centric lighting when you actually control the light uh, color depending on, uh, on, on, on the usage. And this should be compared to traditional lighting control, which offers no value to no one except for basically turning on and off the lights. Uh, so tremendous value and we hope that in the future people will, will, should work with smart lighting as a standard instead of a traditional lighting control. Uh, and the next slide. So this is, this is what we have been seeing in Sweden since we launched our products roughly four years ago. We have had very strong growth uh, during, during the last four years. The compounded average growth rates have been 19% for, for, for these last four years. And except for one year where we increased our R&D uh, capacity to be able to, to uh, develop new future product categories, we have been profitable also during this quick, uh, during this strong growth. And all of this growth have been organic uh, from, from, from day one, and, and we, it, we should continue to be that going forward also. And also we have very high built-in profitability in the business model. So we have strong growth margins already of 55% plus, and we see that steady state growth margins can, can, can increase. And when we decide to, to focus more, more on, the, on the profitability and not so much on the growth, we, we already can see very nice um, bottom lines and profit margins of 20% plus is definitely uh, reachable when we reach a more steady state. Uh, and the next slide, this next slide just uh, looks at our future potential, how much growth do we have left, we are just getting started, we would say. Uh, so we have launched, or we are the market leaders in Sweden within this segment, and we have launched in Norway and in Finland, and we are scaling in Norway, so we're seeing a rapid increase in, in installations in Norway. And in Finland, it's also Finland was launched a couple of uh, months behind Norway, so we are seeing the same development happening there also. We're also entering the Netherlands as our next market outside of the Nordics. We're just setting that market up, so it's not up and running yet. Uh, and besides that, we have a couple of uh, interesting markets in the near term, Germany, Spain, Belgium, Switzerland, and so forth. There are many more markets to, to, to enter going forward. And the multidimensional growth also comes from us expanding our product portfolio with uh, currently three new product categories that are in, in the making, which is not the same as the puck that we have today. It 
three completely new categories uh, that will come uh, in, in the years to come. And that will increase our potential in all of our current market, as well as all of the markets that we have not entered yet. So this creates this matrix of, uh, of uh, potential uh, and we can see that we have just get just got started. So if we if we have the same development in new markets, and if our product categories that are coming are are as successful as the pucks that we have today, we have years of strong multi-dimensional growth left. So that was a brief uh, presentation from us. Thank you, Babak, for the presentation. Uh, and this last slide is a good segue into my first question. Yes. Uh, you just released a new dimmer and announced in the last report that another product is going into launch mode. And your portfolio of product has evolved in recent years. How, would it, how will it evolve going forward? Uh, what we've said in the in, in, in the latest release is that we we are releasing a product geared a puck geared for the commercial sector. Uh, it's called it's controlling a, a very popular standard within the commercial sector called Dolly, and we also said that that puck will sort of round off the puck series, which is grown from one product to ten plus products uh, currently. So. We are, we are looking forward to completely new product categories that will not be more pucks, so to say. Um, and we are also going down the future looking at also product categories outside of lighting. But in the near term, in the near future, lighting related products will still be our main focus. But we have, we have more categories coming that will be the main difference from, from what we have done so far, which has been mainly in one category, the pucks. Okay, great. My next question is about emerging technologies in this market. Uh, and what kind of technologies do you think that the market, as well as your core customers, need looking ahead? Uh, I would say if we look at uh, lighting, where we are, uh, where we are focused currently, uh, connected lighting is, of course, what is happening now. All of all, all and most lighting are, are getting connected in some way. So. Looking down the line, I don't think that you you would be able to. I, I think the all lighting will be connected in one way or the other. Uh, one thing that is coming more strong, uh, and and especially in in the commercial sector, would be the actual uh, lighting color to to because now that you can control lighting with this these type of technology better than you could before, you could actually manipulate the light, and that has an effect on on people uh, on on their energy levels and so forth. And that would also be technology that will be refined going forward. Uh, that lighting control enables us to actually use light in new ways, which could gain efficiency benefits in, in, uh, in companies, uh, making people just feel better. Uh, so those are technologies that are still emerging. Uh, we will see how they will pan out, but those are potential benefits of actually having more advanced lighting control. Other than that, it would be integrating with the smart home, uh, uh, with voice control and other types of appliances and making lighting a part of, of that ecosystem. So that, is, I would say, would be what we are looking forward to when it comes to lighting. Great, that's very interesting. Uh, could you maybe go through with us your plans for entering new markets? How do you expect to build a relationship with installers in new markets? Does the market environment differ in the countries you are targeting compared to Sweden? Uh, very good question. And, and one thing with our expansion internationally, which is both a good thing and, and a bad thing, is that in many countries it could differ how you actually install electrical uh, components, how you pull the cables and different types of way of doing stuff. Um, that leads to barriers to entry for us to some market, but it also creates very high barriers for others to enter in markets that we are um, currently established in. So we, we choose our markets very carefully, um, trying to make them, trying to prioritize them in markets that are very close to our 
main market, Sweden and the Nordics. And there are many of them uh, just like us. And the ones you see on the list are, are, are the, the first ones, so to say. Uh, but from there, it's usually kind of similar. You have the whole, wholesalers, uh, usually quite few of them, that uh, sell to electricians and that sell to, to end users. So, so the pipeline is pretty much the same. Uh, so you start with building the relationship with the wholesalers, so they take the product in. And from there, you work together with them to reach the electrician. So in Sweden, we have our sales force that works together with our wholesalers, our partners, and they reach the electricians through uh, meeting them in the stores, breakfast, lunches, and so forth, but also meeting the electricians directly. Uh, so, so the sales process would be similar in all, all, of, the, all of these countries, at least. And we are seeing, we deploy the same uh, model in Norway and in Finland, and we are seeing uh, great traction and the same similar behavior that we saw in, in Sweden. And we, we think that it will be similar in those markets that are similar to Sweden, and those are the ones that we have chosen. Okay, thank you. Uh, my next question revolves funding. Will you be able to finance the expansion plans internally, or do you need uh, external cap capital? Uh, we did a share issue, uh, a, a smaller one compared to our, to our market cap uh, in, in December, so quite recently. When we did that share issue, we said that we already have capital uh, in the bank to handle our planned profitable expansion. Since we are profitable, uh, we don't burn cash uh, as much. Uh, so so we, we said that we, we, could, we could continue executing our plan. However, we see some ways of accelerating. We have some product lines that are getting closer to market and those we could accelerate. And we also could see some markets that are gaining some traction and we could accelerate a little bit more there. So the share issue that we did uh, had the purpose of giving us a little bit more acceleration. So the, the money we had before or the capital we had before was enough to keep the high profitable growth going. The capital that we raised in the share issue gives us a little bit more acceleration on top of that. But so far, we, we definitely have the capital needed to grow our current plan uh, going forward. Okay. Uh, fundamentally, what kind of guidance are you giving the market? You mentioned 20% margins in a steady state scenario. When is that reachable? And is it uh, possible for you to continue grow at this current rate, you think? We don't have any official guidance uh, on these things for the market. We have discussed our profit margins loosely as we have, as we have done also here. Uh, so what we say is that there's a very good uh, profitability within our business model that we could see. So if we, would, if we were today to optimize for, for profits and, uh, and not expand our product portfolio and expand our market reach, we could reach well above 20% in, in, um, in, in, in profit margins. So there is a very good profitability within the business. And that's why we communicate these steady state numbers. Uh, but when we, when we reach them, I would say it's, uh, we, we will continue, I think that we will continue to increase the profitability year by year by uh, while still having this strong growth. But I, I cannot really have, give a guidance of when we would reach those act, exact numbers because we don't have any clear plan of reaching a steady state yet. As you can see on this last slide, there's a lot of potential left and we prioritize growth and taking market shares and establish our, establishing ourselves in new markets. Firstly, since we believe that there is a window that is open now in this technolog technological shift from traditional to smart lighting and we want to establish ourselves in as many markets as possible before that window starts to close. So no official guidance, uh, just more rough numbers of, of the in inherent potential in the business. Okay, I understand. So one last question. On a more broad level, what's your most important competitive advantage, according to you? Uh, in the long term, I would say definitely that we do everything in-house. So we, we, have, uh, we have control of all facets of our technology, everything from plastic to electronics to app to cloud. Uh, and that gives us a, 
the core competence and the full control of the experience to continue innovating at a fast pace and also be able to control everything to create the best possible product going forward. Um, besides that, of course, that we have a, a, a good head start uh, in this business or in this segment. And also, I would say another, another is that we don't have any baggage, so we don't have any other types of product portfolio or, or legacy products or traditional product lighting control. So we, we focus on only smart lighting and we believe that to be the future. So that's also a benefit. So having everything in-house, no baggage, and also being in a good position to begin with. Okay, I think that's all we have time for. Thank you so much, Babak. Babak, Babak. Take Thank care. You very much. Goodbye. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye.